So we did what Kamsa said couldn't be done. Uh, initially when I got this thing, I was planning on using it year round because when you spend that kind of money, I didn't want it to just be sitting around all winter. So I told myself I was gonna have to get tracks at some point. I wasn't gonna get new ones because they're kind of pricey, but I was gonna get used ones. And uh, winter time came and phoned Camso and they said that you can't put Camso tracks on a Pro XP that there's clearance issues and the sale there yeah the salesman guy told me that some machines aren't meant to have tracks I was like well that's kind of dumb thing to say when you're a company that makes tracks and going forward Pro XP is going to be like one of the main machines so it's kind of crazy that you're not going to make anything but that's what they said there is a couple companies online I think tracks Brax or something is one of them that said or they make a kit that's like $750 to put Camso tracks on your Pro XP. But uh, me and a friend of mine just did it uh, ourselves. These tracks are older ones, T4S. Um, not the 4S ones, like the new ones. But uh, these came off of a 2016 1000S. And so that's A arms all the way around. And uh, so the back is completely custom for mounting the fronts. We modded the brackets that came with it since it was A-arms, but on the Pro XPs, they're kind of a little more high clearance. So what we did on the front is basically take the bottom A-arm, normally it's completely flat and uh, the top one, which normally kind of com comes and wraps around like a bar or something there. Um, but cut, cut them up, bent that one, moved the brackets in to make it fit. And then the top bracket shortened it to deal with the arch. And then uh, made a little piece that wraps around and cut out around here. And, and just one big bolt right through the middle. Half inch bolt. Grade 8. Uh, I haven't gotten to test it yet. We just finished putting it all together and it looks like it's gonna work just fine. Uh, left and right, it's the same thing. It's pretty simple, just takes a bit of time. You gotta cut and bend and I seen that side-by-side -side blog did it and it didn't sound like it was that bad. So figured I'd give it a go instead of spending all the money and buying a expensive kit. And then the back, pretty simple. Uh, it's just uh, sandwiching. The trailing arm, this is a kind of a big triangle piece, sandwiching it in there and then uh, making just a, a triangle that fits on top, if it's on bottom, and then utilize the scraper holes and added an extra one. So you got, you can't really see, but there's, there's uh, three bolts in there. Um, sandwiching it in there and uh, then just making a drop bracket. To get it out of the way of the suspension. Might have to make that a little bit lower if it runs into uh, the radius rod, but we'll see after we do some testing, but that's pretty simple just to extend it down a bit more, or move it back a bit, whatever it needs to happen. But the main thing is that the main part of the fabrication is done and uh, the tracks are mounted. So that's the big thing. Um, other than that, I mean, if you get ones from uh, a Polaris, the bolt pattern is the same, and if it's a 1000, then the main sprockets, they're the same, and then uh, should be good to go. So we got to do some testing and figure out what we need to adjust or, or if it's all good, but uh, yeah, again, Campsa said you couldn't do it, there's maybe one forum thing I seen where somebody did it and then uh, side by side blog did it but didn't really cover what exactly they did other than like did some cutting and some bending and made a rear bracket but I think this is gonna work just fine so we'll find out soon and uh, I'll make a an update video on uh, how it actually goes but uh, pretty excited now when it snows be able to go out and shouldn't have any issues so I'll keep you posted